The United States Geological Survey just gave an update about the activity around Yellowstone. They said the following. Yellowstone Swarm Update. Activity overnight. Some small quakes continue. As of Saturday morning, the University of Utah Seismograph Stations event has detected 280 events. These swarms are common as hydrothermal fluids interact with existing faults. No other changes noted. One person asked them whether this activity is rising, and if an eruption is going to happen, to which they responded with the following. No, that is completely wrong. If that were the case, we would see signs of magma movement from the vast array of other monitoring we do at Yellowstone. For example, there would be detectable upward ground movement, but there's none. End quote. This kind of goes against what these photographs show, with some describing this uplift as being proof that there's definitely something going on underneath Yellowstone, and that whatever it is is increasing in size, with some who've seen the images saying that it reminded them of the bulge that was seen on Mount St. Helens. It's important to note as well that these photographs are from the United States Geological Survey's website. Many of these cams can be found across the park that give live updates, and this is just one of them that appears to show an uplift happening. Naturally, people have been questioning what this is, and what's caused it to bulge outwards. When I place the red lines across, you can definitely see there's some kind of ground increase, as the two images no longer line up. One user said the following, it's interesting how the USGS have come forward time and time again and said that none of the areas around Yellowstone have increased or decreased in size, yet various images completely go against this. I'm not saying that this means that an eruption is going to happen, but there's obviously something happening underneath the park. When people have asked the United States Geological Survey for their opinion on these photographs, they haven't responded although this could just be because they haven't seen them. With all of the recent activity and photographs like this being shared, it's no wonder that people are starting to question what's going on around Yellowstone. The reason people are so invested in activity around the park is because of the supervolcano. One of the explanations for this could be the flood of magma is moving underneath the ground, What's interesting about this is that the United States Geological Survey has said that the area should be dropping, not rising, yet the images appear to show that it's bulging upwards. As mentioned before, this detail is not obvious when you're looking at the live cameras, but when you place two photographs side by side, you can see that there's quite a big difference. Those who have been following the quakes, the increase in volcanic flow and the bulge at Yellowstone, I've all been asking the same question. Why is the United States Geological Survey hiding some of these earthquakes and not reporting on them? One online user said the following. We can clearly see the seismic trackers inside Yellowstone are picking up on these tremors, yet in some cases the USGS is not talking about them. They are the ones who tell people not to worry about these quakes, and that they will not affect surrounding areas, yet they outright refuse to comment on some of them. It's a bit confusing and I can see why people are starting to question what's going on. End quote. It seems though that within the last few days, Yellowstone Park officials have started to report on these quakes. On the 16th of July they said the following, an ongoing swarm with more than 141 earthquakes is centered beneath Yellowstone Lake. The University of Utah Seismograph Stations has located 40 earthquakes larger than magnitude 2 and two events in the magnitude 3 range. More locations will be posted throughout the day. Earthquake sequences like these are common and account for roughly 50% of the total seismic activity in the Yellowstone region. This swarm is similar to the one that occurred around the same place during December 2020. Interestingly, someone asked the following. When should we be worried about earthquake activity? 
and the United States Geological Survey said this. Perhaps tens of thousands of located events, many of which would be felt, along with significant ground deformation and other anomalous changes in geological conditions. End quote. This has confused some people, as they've pointed out that many of these earthquakes have been felt, and that there's also been obvious ground deformation that's been photographed using Yellowstone live cameras. So some are questioning whether this means that something is going to happen sometime in the near future. As some have pointed out, all this update has done is caused more questions than answers. Someone even commented that the answer they gave made no sense. As some have said though, the United States Geological Survey isn't mentioning the depth of these earthquakes. The data shows us that these earthquakes are hitting the upper part of the magma chamber, at around 2 miles deep. Two large magma bodies can be found underneath the park, with the top chamber measuring around 5 kilometers, or 3.1 miles deep. Many of these recent earthquakes are hitting just beneath the surface, between 1 and 4 miles deep. Again, one thing that the United States Geological Survey doesn't report on is that these earthquakes are causing cracks beneath the surface. In fact, one study that was carried out showed that these earthquakes that were hitting north of Yellowstone Lake were causing deep fractures. The data revealed the following. Location of earthquakes at the north end of Yellowstone Lake, with the direction of spreading of the deep fracture modelled as vertical volcanic embankment, showing seismic and ground displacement data. So again, these studies show us that these earthquakes are having a direct effect on the areas around Yellowstone, and the deep cracks are starting to form in places such as Yellowstone Lake. Yellowstone Lake has been showing an increase with these quakes, with some of the most recent ones measuring 3 in magnitude. West Thumb is the largest geyser basin on the shores of Yellowstone Lake. The heat source of this hydrothermal features in this location is thought to be relatively close to the surface, only 10,000 feet or 3,000 meters down. The west thumb of Yellowstone Lake was formed by a large volcanic explosion that occurred approximately 150,000 years ago. The resulting collapsed volcano later filled in with water forming an extension of Yellowstone Lake. It's for this reason that some have expressed their concerns about the increased earthquake activity around this area. After all, it was only in the 1990s that researchers discovered hydrothermal features underneath the surface of the lake. So what do you make of this recent activity at Yellowstone? What do you make of the ground deformation seen around the park? And have the United States Geological Survey's answers made you feel better and understand what's going on around Yellowstone? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.